Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. My name is Paula Jean and this is where I will be recreating family favorite recipes and trying new recipes. So grab your paper and pencil and let's get cooking. You know, I've been thinking about the trip that we took to um, Ireland and Scotland, Wales and England. And I really like to try new foods and sometimes the way they make it is a lot different than from the way we make it. One of my favorite things that I would always get is their shepherd's pie. And another thing was their fish chowder that was unbelievable. And I thought, you know, I've got some fish and some shrimp and mussels and all that good stuff. I'm going to make some of that. So I have a half a tablespoon of butter heating up in this saucepan. And you can use any kind of fish. Um, the Scots also have a fish chowder. I can't remember the name of it. It's a funny name. But they use uh, smoked cod and regular cod. And smoked cod, or not smoked cod, it's smoked haddock. Smoked haddock is what they call fin and haddie. And usually at a fish market, you can get it around Christmas time. Otherwise, it is so extremely expensive. I went to Amazon, and I think for three little slabs, I could get that for $90. I don't know. So huh, we're not using smoked fish. So I have a small finely chopped onion that I'm going to cook until it's soft. It'll only take a couple minutes. It already smells good. I love the smell of real butter and onions when they start to cook. Right, these have been cooking for about two minutes and now I am going to add two slices of bacon that I've just sliced up and we'll cook that down This is going to cook for about five minutes until the bacon is brown and the onions are really nice and softened up. Alright, now this is looking pretty good. So now you're going to add potatoes and I have them all cubed up and I have to admit these are not potatoes because a month ago I gave up all the whites white potato white bread white flour white sugar white rice so this is celery root and it is delicious it's very mild and bland like a potato so I would say if you're going to use a potato, hmm, I would say about maybe one and a half large potatoes cubed up. Or I ended up using 
a half of a large celery root cubed up. Now, if you don't know what a celery root looks like, um, I got mine at Big Y. It's about the size of a grapefruit. And it's kind of ugly looking. In fact, this is the top. I saved the top to show you. But it's really quite good. And like I said, it's about the size of a small grapefruit. is going to cook for about a minute and then to this I'm going to add three cups of stock now if I had fish stock I would have used that but I didn't have fish stock so I have clam juice I have two cups of clam juice and the other cup is just going to be water. But you want a total of three cups in all. So I'm going to put my water in first. You can even use half fish broth and half clam juice. All right, so there's three cups. And now I'm gonna put in one bay leaf and a quarter of a teaspoon of dried thyme. All right. Now that is going to cook until that celery root is fork tender or your potatoes are fork tender. And to this I'm going to add some salt. Oh, about a half a teaspoon. I hate to add too much salt. I figure I let the people put what they want at the end. And I'm going to put some cracked pepper in there. So now these cubes are small enough. They're about a half inch. So it's not going to take long for these to become tender. So I'll be back once they're ready to add the other things. All right, this has been cooking for about eight minutes and my celery root is fork tender. So now I'm gonna start adding my fish and like I said, you can put any kind of fish you want so I found, I had one little piece of haddock. So I'm gonna put that in. And I had some scallops. I'm gonna put those in. And because they're the only raw, I, like I was saying when my phone cut out, um, because they're the only raw fish I have, I'm going to let them cook for about five minutes. And if you're looking for quantities, I just have these little custard cups. Um, I don't know, what do they look like to you? Eight ounces? I'm not sure. I will measure it for you, though, once I have an empty measuring cup. All right, I'll be back. Okay, that's been cooking for about five minutes. So 
So now I have this imitation crab I'm going to put in. If you have lump crab, that will work perfectly. I have these cooked shrimp. And I have these delicious mussels. Now don't get upset or worried because this one is cracked open. These are frozen and I buy them. They're already pre-cooked in a garlic butter sauce, so I just took some out of the package. All right, we're going to let this heat up for another couple minutes. Then I'll be putting in the last ingredient. All right, well, I put the lid on and I just cooked it for a few more minutes. If you're using fresh mussels, then you're going to cook it an extra five minutes with a lid on. And if you see any that did not open, then you need to throw those out. But like I said, mine are pre-cooked and frozen. All right, now I'm going to put the last ingredient in. So let's move this right here. And I did measure for you. And those little custard cups I have would be eight ounces filled all the way to the top. So, all right, my last ingredient is, and you remove your uh, fish and your broth from the heat before you do this, you put in a half a cup of heavy cream. Everything is better with heavy cream. And if you have fresh parsley, use fresh parsley. I don't. I looked at the plants yesterday at Home Depot and I wanted to get one, but I didn't want to get one. So I have some dried parsley flakes. And I am going to put in oh, about a half a capful. So, there you go, folks. There is a nice traditional Irish fish chowder, but because I'm New from New England, I suppose I have to say it like most people in New England say, and they would say fish chowder. This is yummy. I'm going to serve myself some up and enjoy. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And click on that bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a recipe. Bon appetit!